It's no secret the Jets dominated the draft once again this year, adding pieces like Garrett Wilson to help their young second-year quarterback and also adding big pieces in the secondary like Ahmaud Gardner. But one of the biggest acquisitions came on day two when Brees Hall. Today, I wanted to jump into Brees Hall's film, analyze what he does well, what he needs to improve on, and answer the question, could he be the lead franchise back for the New York Jets? So without further ado, let's dive into the film breakdown. Taking a look at this first play here, I want to highlight one of Brees Hall's biggest strengths, and that's his contact balance and overall his physicality as a runner. So as we move on here and take a look at the pre-snap design, we're going to see Iowa State. They're running a split zone look offensively here. And at the snap of the ball, I really want to highlight how this play is going to end up splitting open and creating a massive crease to the backside here. So to start here, we see the kickout block by the split zone, get really good movement here, walling off and kicking out that defensive end. Then we see to the front side, this is where the zone blocking works here. It's going to get all these guys moving, flowing to the front side, and it's going to create basically a wall, a parting of the sea for Brees Hall to put his foot in the ground and get vertical. And as he gets vertical here, we're going to see him run through one arm tackle, two arm tackles, three, and a fourth arm tackle to get out into space and burst down the sideline here for a huge gain. I'll have the play roll from the top one more time, but just keep an eye on how this play is going to split open here, like the parting of the C here. And all this is going to do is allow Brees Hall to break through multiple arm tackles, have that really good contact balance, not to get bumped off his track, and be able to get down the sideline and pick up a massive gain for his offense. So we've seen that trait, that contact balance as a runner, to be able to run through those arm tackles, that vision to see the play split open like that. But let's flip gears a little bit and take a look on this next play, how he's gonna, how Brees Hall will fit into the Jets' offense and what his role will be in the Michael Floor system. So we know that the Michael Floor system comes for the Shanahan scheme, and they love that outside zone running play. So that's what we're going to see here on the next, this next play. We're going to see Iowa State now line up outside zone. And at the snap of the ball, I really want to focus on the left tackle here. We're going to see the defense. They're going to run a little stunt. That DN's going to crash inside. The tackle's going to do a nice job pinning him inside, passing him off to the guard. Now he's going to peel back out and pick up that backer who's scraping over the top to keep contained. While all this is going on, we're going to see Brees Hall. He's staying patient here. He's slowing up his feet, allowing his tackles block to get set here. And as soon as that tackle sets to the inside shoulder and starts to run that backer out, Brees Hall knows exactly what to do. He's going to put his foot in the ground, crease back up inside. Then he's going to bounce right back outside to beat that corner to the edge and get down the field. I'll have to play roll from the top one more time, but just keep an eye out here on Brees Hall's patience. He's going to allow his tackles block to set here. He's not forcing anything. He's waiting for his blocks to declare before he makes his cut. And once he's done, once he does make his cut, he's out the gate, picking a big play for his offense. We've seen Brees Hall execute on the outside zone running play. We've seen his patience with the split zone running through arm tackles. Let's flip gears here. Let's put it to third and short, fourth and short, and see if he can be that short yardage back. So pre-snap here, we see the Iowa State offense. They're running swipe zone option here. All they're going to be doing is reading the defensive end circled in white. If he plays the running back, the quarterback will keep it. If he plays the quarterback, he'll hand it off to Brees Hall. But as I let the play roll, we see the quarterback make the wrong decision here. He hands the ball off to the running back while this defensive end is crashing hard. So now this is the worst case scenario. Third and short, you need to get a yard here. And you got a free 280-pound defensive end flying off the edge to tackle you in the backfield. But this is where Brees Hall shows his physicality as a runner. Be able to run through that arm tackle, run through another one, fall forward, keep his legs turning through contact, running a safety over, picking up that first down, and an extra three or four yards on top. I'll have to play a roll from the top one more time. Just keep an eye on how many tackles Brees Hall breaks here. He breaks two right there, then he gets up to the safety, runs the safety over, and in a third and short situation, he's picking up six yards for the offense. There's no doubt about it, we've seen a lot to like from Brees Hall as a runner so far, but let's flip gears and let's see what he brings in the passing game and see if he can be that receiving back. So pre-step, we got a cover zero look here from the defense to run a little bit of pressure off the edge. And offensively, I really just want to focus on Brees Hall's wheel route that he's releasing to the opposite side of the formation. And at the snap of the ball, as Brees Hall releases the opposite side of the formation here, it's going to fool this linebacker. This linebacker thinks he's fitting up to help protect with that blitz that's coming off the edge. So the linebacker we see circled in white, he opens up. He's trying to give help underneath to all these man cover corners. But all he's doing, he took his eyes off his responsibility, and now Brees Hall has a ton of green grass to work down the sideline. And so the play roll, we'll see his quarterback drop him a ball here, really nice ball with all the pressure in his face. We see Brees Hall give a nice little juke here, walking right into the end zone. And once again, I'm going to let this play roll from the top, but just keep an eye on his savviness as a route runner here to kind of flash like he's picking up that blitz, and then sneaking out of the backfield here, getting wide open down the field. And then once again, once he gets the ball in his hands, making a guy miss and walking into the end zone for a big-time touchdown. 
We've seen Brees Hall excel in the zone running scheme. We've seen him contribute on passing downs. Let's flip gears here and let's see how he fits into a gap scheme running style. So pre-snap here, we're going to see the offense. They're running one back counter, which complements outside zone extremely well. So at the snap of the ball here, we're going to see Brees Hall. I really just want to focus on his patience as a runner. He's going to get right behind his guard here, settle up and square up his base. What he's doing here is allowing his guard's block to set here, his pulling guard. Once that guard's block is set, it's going to allow this crease to open for him to get outside and get one-on-one -on -one with the corner here. And it's the same story once again. He's going to run through an arm tackle, and he's going to fall forward, pick him extra three, four yards. I'll play a roll from the top one more time. It's really subtle here. We're going to see him square up his base just for a half a second to allow his guard's block to set. He's not rushing anything. He's letting his block set up for him, which allows these big creases to form. There's no doubt about it, we've seen a lot to like from Brees Hall so far. He has the contact balance of a franchise running back. He has the vision. He has the patience. He has the speed. He has the foundation of a franchise running back. Now adding on top of that where he's going to the New York Jets who've invested a lot of assets into their offensive line and with Mike LaFleur who loves his outside zone running scheme which Brees Hall fits into perfectly, I think this is all going to be a recipe for a possible rookie of the year candidate. Like I said, Brees Hall is the foundations of a franchise running back. On top of that, if you see my previous breakdown, I'm a huge fan of Michael Carter. So having both these guys in the same backfield and adding on top of that a rookie star receiver in Garrett Wilson and a nice big veteran tight end in CJ Uzama and Tyler Conklin, I think this offense is tooling up for a possible breakout season in the next year or two. I'm excited to see Brees Hall enter into his rookie year. I think him and Michael Carter are going to be a really nice duo all year long. But let me know your guys' thoughts down below. Is Brees Hall this franchise running back? Are you guys excited for the Jets' future? Or do you guys think they're making mistakes? Let me know down below. I love hearing from you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.